What's going on Growth Guys? It's me, Carl here from The Growth Guys. And today we're going to talk about the tools you need to growth hack your competition. So, fun fact, during the preparation of this video, I had a revelation. And that was, there has been quite a large mindset shift in the way that um, businesses in 2020 think about their competition. Now, don't worry, it's not all bad news. It would seem that there's no longer this bubble of fear when businesses think about their competition. In fact, growth marketers are actually giddy when they think about their competition. Oh, Reggie, I do get giddy when I think about you. Having other players in the market validates the market. It means that there are methods out there that actually work. It means there's growth opportunities. You can study these methods, put your own flavor on it, and Shazam, growth. The mindset shift moving away from fear is of course massive, but stalking your competitors isn't a guaranteed ticket to success. It's just one T-shape in the business game of Tetris. You may be thinking that your competition are just too big to, to even touch, or you know maybe your market's not relevant for this kind of tactic, but watch until the end. Doing a Bielsa in the marketplace, peeping on your competition can actually strengthen your position in the marketplace but not without having these three uh, very important factors in your consideration. Number one, what are you looking for? Number two, what are the right tools to get these insights? And number three, smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. No, <laughs> I'm joking, but it does help. Number three, how will you leverage these insights to grow your business? So if you want a, I guess a leaner and more robust way of growing your business, Stick with me and we're going to jump into it. More specifically, we'll be looking at how we can see what the competition are doing in the following areas. SEO, web traffic, pay-per-click, social media, social media ads. Now, of course, there's a fair amount of tools uh, on the internet. These are some of the ones that we find really useful. Some are free, some are not, but they're decent. So bask in the glory of your decision to watch this video and the realization that you've probably saved yourself a ton of time and money. Yeah, that was a good decision. So we're going to jump straight in with our first suggestion, which is Uber Suggest. Backlinks are vital for SEO strategy. You know that, I know that. Now what Uber Suggest does is it helps you understand what keywords your competition are using in that regard. The greatest thing with Uber Suggest is it's actually free. If you want a foundation for a link building strategy that gets you ranked on the first page of Google, you need to check out this tool. So it's pretty simple, really straightforward. Jump on to the site, put your uh, competition URL, click search, and then you need to click on the backlink section on the left sidebar, and then you can review all of your competition's link profile. What we find really helpful is that pages like you know referring pages, URLs, domain score, anchor text, that's a really, really valuable insight. You can also use the uh, traffic analyzer overview. That's more of a broader stroke when it comes to looking at your competition's site. So we can get things like the keywords it ranks for, domain score, number of backlinks, traffic over a 12 month period, total estimated monthly traffic, this thing is amazing. So on to number two, similar web. Now this is great for gauging, I guess, the overall kind of impact. You can find out kind of what their monthly traffic visitors are and where they come from as far as which channels they are coming in from. So this is really straightforward to use as well. You head over to similar web, type in your website or the, the competition's website and you get an overview of their traffic 
Um, so things to check out for traffic sources that lets you know kind of which channels are really impactful for that business. It's really straightforward. Get a look on it. It's, it's really interesting. So this, this is one which is really handy as well. So if you're looking at social media activity, you need to head over to Fan Page Karma. Fan Page Karma is the boss, actually. Can you just search on the petitions fan book page and see what they're doing? We, you can do that, yeah, of course. Um, but if you wanted a much more granular kind of information level, then this, this is really the tool for you. It gives you stuff like reach per day, number of posts per day, growth per day, per month, per week and it gives you the number of fans, obviously. Now, under the surface, this kind of information is really handy as well. It tells you their posting frequency, it tells you when they're successful. If they're using a pattern, that's probably because they find it profitable to do that. So, something for you to look at within the industry. Any influences they might be using and what the general ad value that they have attracted to their site. Now, obviously, dependent on the industry and the competition, they might not be on every single platform, but that in itself is a story to tell. Maybe that's an opportunity for you if they aren't, or maybe there's a reason they've dropped it, so keep a close eye on that. There's nothing more competitive than paid campaigns. It can be really tough to get ahead. You're competing on creative, you're competing on keyword selection. This is where iSpionage, or iSpionage, I'm sure how you pronounce it. This is where this tool becomes really valuable. You can use it to do two key things. Find profitable keywords based on what your competitors are actually using. And also find out how much they're spending on their AdWords campaigns. It also gets all kinds of uh, other useful data, but we're focusing on, I guess, the PPC section of it today. This kind of data is absolutely vital for keeping the conversion rate high and the profitability high. So. What you need to do is type in your competitor's URL um, and then you get an overall overview, if you like, of the total performance of the pay-per-click. So some data in there as well. Pay attention to things like the keyword list, the pay-per-click list there. Um, pay attention to the pay-per-click keyword list. All the data next to that as well. You can look at the top performing ads. Go to the destination URL, analyze the ad creative. Why bother? The creative elements of the ads are often formulaic. So if it works for your competitors, there's a good chance it's gonna work for you too. That's why we do this every single time and take new clients on. Now, you don't want to steal the whole ad section, but you get an idea about the pattern and the formula. Um, and then you can apply that to your own paid campaigns. Now, this one is a really interesting one. This is great if you're wanting some inspiration for ad creative. Moat is one of the largest ad libraries um, on the internet. It's the largest ad search engine. So, what you do is go to uh, go to the Moat website and then you type in the brand of your competition, and it will bring up all the ads that they've used in the past. You can look at the individual dimensions of that ad, when it was posted, to see how accurate it is, if it's running at the moment. That's usually a good sign that it's not doing too badly or that it's in text. Also, if you want to follow your competition intensely, <laughs> intensely, you can set up uh, notifications that give you an alert every time they post a new ad. This one's really cool. Sometimes your competition gets ahead because they're using better infrastructure and better tools. It might sound kind of menial, but, but it is it is accurate. Better tools within a business setting allows for a greater level of depth when it comes to automation and makes the, the overall business more efficient. So if you've ever wondered what tech you know your competition's using, what what widgets and all this kind of stuff they're using on the website, this tool's gonna really help you. Um, talking about BuildWith. BuildWith gives you a complete tech rundown of your competition's digital assets. So here's some of the things you can learn about your competitors with this tool. You can look at which hosting providers they have, email systems, content management systems, which advertising tools they use, analytics and tracking that they've got installed, what the payment processes are and what widgets and plugins they have. There's a whole lot more as well. These are just some of the ones. That's pretty good point. So the next one is Facebook. So Facebook 
ad, li ad library is one that we like to use directly um, and we use this on the daily. As part of its 2018 effort to address policy concerns, Facebook released an ads transparency tool that allows users to view ads which a Facebook page is currently running. So you can track this kind of information uh, around you know once a month and you can start to recognize strategy trends and growth trends. All you need to do is jump on to the Facebook ad library, search the name of the brand and then you're able to see with the click of a button all the ads that they're running, the most location, you'll see a drop down um, list that allow you to refine ads by location which helps you understand which regions the competitions are focusing on as well as if they decide to hit up a new country or region. The thing to remember when looking at these kinds of tools is that you can't replicate you have to analyze that's what these tools are for you will look at the patterns and the traits and you find commonalities and then you can plug in these commonalities into your own business replication alone will not make you stand out in fact you become second to the party and maybe you'll have less impact the thing to remember is if you approach it with a strategic and rigorous mindset you'll be able to use the competitions current strategy as a basis for you to propel from, propelling you closer to growth. So guys, thanks so much for this more technical video. Um, we hope we've kept your attention. We're going to put links to every single tool we've mentioned in the comments below. Um, we'd love to hear your thoughts on it. We know that this has been a slightly different flavor video than the ones uh, myself and Paul have been doing up to now but hopefully you found it very useful as per usual don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the notifications if you want to hear our voices a bit more often than normal thanks so much growth guys paul will be hitting you up next week with a new video until then see ya